What's going on everyone? I'm Daniel Rodriguez and it is time for the video that all of you have been waiting for. Uh, the Wayward Pine fans, man. My Season 3 predictions. Now I have about 13 predictions to tell you guys. Uh, of course I'll be editing kind of in and out and being like maybe I'll be over here, maybe I'll be over there and I'll be telling you my predictions. So uh, let's get, you know, real quick my first prediction and uh... First off, I want to say the love and support, you know, by few, by few, by few, the, of when I did the season two reviews over the past ten weeks, man, uh, just thank you so much, people who have subscribed just because they liked my Wayward Pint reviews, or whether you just, and I have my season one reviews on the channel, if you guys go to my playlist, you could probably find my Wayward Pint season one reviews, uh, but thank you guys so much just for the support, and the, those who commented, those who liked, those who shared, uh, those who commented, just Thank you. You guys don't know, like, when I see a comment, I'm like, hey, you know, I mean, some of these YouTubers, man, they have, like, you know, maybe, what, uh, hundreds of comments, and then they don't end up reading them, and then I, it, it, if I even had hundreds of comments coming in, and, you know, I would read them. Like, I would, I wouldn't, you know, I don't need another, I mean, after the time, I have the time, like, I'll end up reading all the comments and just being personal, one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys would be nice. I mean, well, that's so fun. I mean, we could have a conversation about a show we both enjoy. And if you love Wayward Pines, I love Wayward Pines, we could talk about Wayward Pines together. And you could share your predictions down below if you feel like it. Anyway, season three time. Uh, my first prediction I do feel is true. Season three will be the final season. That is my prediction. I mean, I'll have others, and the next 12 will be about storyline and Abby's and Theo and shit like that. But first off, I do believe that season three will be the final season. Why? I do think it should be the final season. And these are my personal opinions. These are my personal predictions. When it, uh, Let me tell you, they're predictions. They're not confirmed. I don't know no resource. I don't know no backstory. I have nobody to know inside source of where Wayward Pines is going. But um, season three should be the final season. I And I, I've been saying all over season two, I've been saying, like, no, they should keep on doing it, they could go on for season four, season five, but I looked at it realistically, and I was like, maybe season three would be the perfect way to go out, like, ten episodes left, you'll have thirty episodes in the series, get it done, don't drag it out, if you have something good, end it with a bang, like, you see, and I love Supernatural, and yes, it's kind of a dead horse already, and the, the, the actors acknowledge it. They're like, we're going to milk this out to the end. They, they already know it's a dead horse in a way. They still are going to make it, and it's cool. I love Supernatural. But say Breaking Bad, they ended on their terms. They weren't like, well, we got canceled or shit like that. They ended it on their terms. Supernatural yet still keeps on going when they could have ended it back in season five and was could have been like, oh, it's such an amazing series. As I'm saying, but I'm saying like Wayward Pines... They could end on a season three and just have it like that and be like, oh, all right, cool. You know, you could end it on your terms, you know, instead of it being canceled. So I would say even where the storyline where I want it to go in my predictions, I would say season three would be the perfect way to uh, it should be the final season. The next thing is, of course, our main characters are in, what, chirogenic, whatever you call it. They're in sleep mode, you know, and who knows how long they're going to be sleeping. I have a few theories on that, but say if they sleep for... Mm. 200, 300, 400, 500 years. If they sleep for hundreds of years and they wake up and what, uh, what was her name? What, Carrie or Car? What was it, Carrie? The one that the Jason's mom ended up doing the, um, the, uh, injections and the diseases and stuff. She, uh, I do think that in some way that that did work. Like, they killed off some of the Abbeys. So I do think that most of the abbeys, or a percentage, a percentage of a percentage of them, will be extinct. But let's say fifty or sixty percent of them are extinct. Now, if we wait over a hundred years, as you saw as the final shot of season two, uh, Abby was holding a baby that looked like a human baby, or it was kind of evolving. Now, see, humans evolved to abbeys. They used to be, you know, good looking, and now they're like, <coughs> like that, and now. What happens if they're changing back to human? So, but they're smart and they are intelligent and they're like almost like mutants. They become evolved humans, not aberrations or abbeys, but they go back to being humans, but yet they're evolved as in their super strength and all that. But they look like humans, but they're strong or I'm saying they're intelligent, they're smart, you know, maybe some of them are dumb. But I'm saying. 50-60% of them are extinct, but whenever our group wakes up, if they do wake up all safe and sound, that when they come outside the mountain and they look outside, 
that the Abbeys will either be there, and but I think that they will be evolved humans, and they will look like humans, and they'll sound like humans, they'll turn back into humans as long as they keep on, you know, you know, like fucking and everything, and they'll have babies, and the babies will look like humans, and then one day they'll look like me and look sexy, and then, you know what I mean, like, they could easily be that, like, maybe they don't know I'm an Abbey, maybe they think I'm a human, but actually I'm an Abbey, and I'm super, like, you know, I'm super scary and shit, and I have claws and everything that come out, so that's what I'm saying, Part of them are extinct. That's right when Theo and them went to sleep. And that happens over the years. They all die and they all get sick and everything. And they need like ramen soup and shit like that. And by the time they wake up, they're, uh, they're evolved humans. Now, we can't forget about my main man, Adam Hassler. Now, last time we saw him, he went back out of the tunnel and a bunch of the Abbeys were looking at him and they were like, eh. And he was like, oh my god, look at that. And then he ended up walking away. Now, think about this. There was a person, I totally forgot the name, man, you're on the tip of my tongue, though. But he, he, he commented about, what, two days ago or something, a day ago, and you were like, I think it was OVO Games, OVO. I may be wrong, excuse me for that. Uh, you, you said something about what happens if Adam is an Abbey or some sort of thing like that, and he was the one with the stick and stuff like that. Well, oh my good sir, well, could be interesting, could, could be something, man, uh, but... What happens if they do flashbacks to Adam? And I don't know how many years Adam has. What happens if Adam falls in love with one of the Abbeys? I know, far-fetched, but it's a prediction, okay? It's a prediction. What happens if he falls in love with one of the Abbeys? Or he becomes friends with them, or he lives with them, and he's like, <laughs> you know, he becomes like an Abbey. Or he lives like them. I mean, now that Wayward Pines, everyone's all dead and everything. Or we could see the flashbacks of him surviving and living with the Abbeys and seeing their culture. And he sees them evolve. Or, that could be a thing, or he goes to Wayward Pines and he sees it all destroyed. And he sees all the Abbeys going in. And they're not attacking him, of course, because the main, the main girl is like, you know, like, leave him alone. So maybe he's protected, but he looks around and he sees he sees he sees Wayward Pines destroyed, and either he kills himself or either he lives till the day he dies, or he lives with one of the Abbeys and gets married. I don't know. I don't, I don't, maybe he loves one of the Abbeys. Maybe he loves the main girl. I don't know because they're evolving over time. But then again, but the, you know he'll be old. He's a, kind of an older guy already. But what happens if he goes and he either turns on the machines, if he has access to the mountain, and he sees that they're sleeping in the pods, maybe he goes in one of the pods, I highly doubt that, that's kind of one of my least theories, but uh, anything, everything I just said with about Adam, about being outside and seeing the evolved humans and stuff, I hope they didn't kill him off screen, because if they did, that was just, that shit, what are you guys doing, you writers? Like I said, if this is Wayward Pines' final season, this could expand the world. They're rebuilding the world. You don't just need to stay in, ah, uh, the show's called Wayward Pines. Well, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no. Uh, it's called Wayward Pines. But, you can expand. You could break down those walls. We're going to build a wall. You could break them down. And you could expand. And you could make Wayward Pines a whole damn country if you want to. It doesn't need to be a damn city. You could look around and maybe the evolved abbeys or evolved humans, because something will be a, a, alive when they wake up, will either be a friend or will either be a foe. Now, whether or not they're friends, they could rebuild the world and then it could be like, wait, maybe we want to live over you or shit, or maybe we want to rule over you, something of a war or conflict. But maybe either they, I, I have a feeling they need to expand. I, I can't see another season just being within the town. I, I can't. I need them to expand. I need them to move around. I need them to breathe. Stop living within the walls. We need to get out those walls. We need to tear them down, and we need to be, create a dictatorship. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but seriously, all throughout, expand the world, because I'm tired of being in the same place as season one. Matt Dillon should have been in the season with Jason Patrick. You know how hot that would have been. An easy one is when Theo wakes up, of course, he will either become president of the human race, or, of course, he'll be the leader. So I do think that Jason Patrick will remain alive. I was thinking, like, what happens if they kill Theo the first episode or something like that? Uh, hopefully not. I mean, I would love to have seen Ben survive or something like that. Don't forget, like, Theresa died and everything, or Theresa, uh, Theresa and uh, Pam. I mean, imagine if they would have stayed alive all because of freaking Jason freaking Higgins. Oh, let's kill Ben, man. He's a little annoying. Oh, Jason, you're killing me out here. I'm sorry, Dad. Abby's killing him. You know what I mean? So... 
I think that Jason will, I mean, I think Thea will be the leader, of course, so that's an obvious prediction. I believe when our crew wakes up that Wayward Pines will be unrecognizable. The landscape has changed. Like I said, when they wake up, they could either rebuild, or what happens if the world is already rebuilt by the Abbeys? And we're the ones that are on their territory. What happens after season two ends and season three? What happens if they only sleep for a few hours and they were asleep and then they wake up and they're like, what year is it? It's only been an hour. No, the pods are broken. They're broken. The pods aren't working. We can't enter the pods. They're out, they're, they're, they're not charging. Crap, what do we do? What do we do? Do we go outside? Do we see the Abbeys? Do we just sacrifice ourselves? Do we end up dying? What do we do? What happens if that ends up happening? How will they escape? Where will they go? I mean, there's millions of Abbeys outside. What happens if they wake up and the pods, like, they only were asleep for a few minutes or a few hours or a few days, and then they wake up and, like, what do you do? How do you do that? Wouldn't that be a fun little scene, man? Wouldn't that be something? Can you actually see that happening? Also, Rebecca will have a baby, and she'll be like, oh, it is Xander's. And Xander will be like, it's mine. And then, like, Theo would be like, gosh, you too. I used to love you, Rebecca, and stuff like that. Uh, but the thing is, is they'll have a Rebecca, well, I don't know. What happens, wait, what happens when she has a baby and she goes under sleep and that baby is frozen in time? Or when she, when she wakes up, will the baby be like nine months already and then when she wakes up she'll have to have like birth or something so that's something else man that's something crazy so Rebecca's pregnant and I, I think that'll lead something big you know uh, within the next season of maybe either she has a miscarriage or maybe I wouldn't want that I'm just saying maybe she has it there's it happens in TV shows they sometimes sometimes have a miscarriage so we'll see what happens with that this one may be a little too far-fetched and may sound stupid but I would say that maybe Jason Higgins haunts Theo's memories, or maybe haunts a, a, a person's memories. I, I Maybe we'll see something of Jason, something of him. Maybe a nightmare or a flashback or sequences of Jason Higgins somehow, one way or another. And last but not least, they will actually, uh, like I said earlier on, if they wake up, Theo and the group, they were, and if the Abbeys are good or not, or the humans or the evolved humans... If they will make a deal with them or live, like, coexist together or if it will be all-out war within the last ten episodes, that could be a thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was my Wayward Pine Season 3 predictions, man. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you and uh, at least one of them makes sense to you. So, if you, could, if you want to, please comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought about my predictions. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed, leave a like. And, of course, if I... Uh, when season three gets announced, if it gets announced, I will make a video and uh, hopefully I can do some more predictions for you guys later in the future. So share with your friends, like the Facebook page down below. I mean, if you want, I mean, if you don't want to, you're like, oh, God, no, not today. Uh, you can, or maybe you don't want to. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm lonely or anything. So anyway, like, comment, share, uh, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I mean, the road to 500 subscribers, you know, I may not be the road to 1,000 or the road to 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000. Oh, I got a long way. But if you want, if you want to help out and want to join the Big D Nation, because that's what I am, Big D, my, that's what used to be my old name, Big D, it's only one. So if you want to join our little community we have going on and you want to be a friend, Road to 500, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you for Wayward Pine Season 3 next year. Hopefully, gets renewed. If not, I review a bunch of other shows. Links down below. And check out the channel. Trailer reviews, movie reviews, TV show reviews. Every single week a movie comes out, I will be reviewing it. Already this year alone, seven months, eight months into the, sh in the, sh the year now. 80 movies I've already reviewed just this year alone. So please, if you guys want to please check out a movie review. I have multiple past 80. Check them out. Don't be afraid. Thanks again, Wayward Pines, all my fans out there. I love y'all. Please, hope you enjoy the predictions. Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts about that. Till next time, y'all stay, uh, stay juicy. Stay safe. And, uh, love y'all. Have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good month. And have a good year. Till next time, bye-bye.